Alright, hey guys, what's going on? It's that home theater dude. Got a brand new episode for you today. Today's video is going to be all about the JVC RS3000. I did the unboxing a couple weeks back and I've had my hands on it for quite some time now and now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a couple of demos before I go ahead and tear, tear this thing down and pack it up to move to the new house. So you guys have been asking for it. Um, I'm going to do a couple more farewell videos here and then I'll go ahead and show you guys the new space once we go ahead and get settled in that. But uh, really appreciate you guys for watching and we're going to go ahead and jump on those demos right after the intro. This is on hardcore, you don't get that. Oh. You do have someone that gets a UAV though. Oh, okay. You'll get it for a little bit. Yeah, hardcore, you don't have any of your ammo going up right. So it's, I think it's supposed to be more like realistic. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> God bless. <laughs> Well, all right, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments about what you saw. So I just sitting here in the room, I, of course, I haven't watched this, this footage yet. Just sitting here in the room watching, you know, this unfold right in front of me. It's it's a really surreal type of experience. So I'm going to talk about how, um, about my experience just sitting here watching in the room. So, of course, I haven't watched the footage, so I don't know if the exposure was right. I don't know if the focus was right. I don't know, you know, if, I, if all that stuff was right. Hopefully I got it right before, you know, uh, I filmed. But... Just sitting here in the room, there's a kind of like a surrealism with having something like this because this is a native 4K projector. It E shifts up to 8K. And I'm not sure if you guys noticed this, but JVC was one of the pioneers to actually make E shift in the first place. And then now they're doing it with 8K. So this is kind of like a groundbreaking type of projection system. And I think that they really, really uh, did a great job on it. Um, going back to how I was feeling whenever I was watching it, it kind of gives you like a calming, surreal type of experience watching those demos. Um, the reason why I'm saying that is because you feel like you're actually there. Um, whenever the camera is like punching in and moving through a space, you feel like you're moving with it. So that that's it's 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 really strange to to describe it. I'm sure it's not going to translate into the actual camera itself, but hopefully it does. Maybe, maybe you guys will get a little bit of slice of it. But the colors are incredible. The color pop was incredible. Hopefully I got the exposure right so it didn't crush the uh, highlights. Um, and also at the same time, you guys can see that there's bright scenes in there, there's dark scenes in there, and uh, there's that torture test of that, uh, that inferno with the guy messing with the fire. So you guys can see the JVC blacks that they're world famous for, and also the, uh, the, the spectral highlights whenever he has a, that flame going at the same time. So that's kind of like a, an absolute testament on how JVC is uh, capable of recreating colors and um, their frame adapt HDR. So again, I keep saying the same thing over and over again, that frame adapt HDR is seriously a game changer. If you guys haven't seen anything like that, um, the only way pretty much to get that with anything else is to buy a video processor on top of your projector, which can be an additional cost. And depending on how much you spend on your projector, it could almost double the price of your projector. So um, it's it's cool that they actually in, include that into the, the unit whenever you buy it. So the RS-1000, 2000, 3000, or the NX-5, 7, and 9. I mean, all of those are going to have that ability right built into it. So highly recommend you guys check out the new firmware update, 310 update. It's going to help you guys out get that most incredible picture that you can possible. And every single time that I bring someone over to the house, I've brought over I brought over six people so far to check this thing out and everyone tells me the same thing that it looks like an OLED TV and it's not something that I'm telling them it's just something that they, they tell me so it's 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 kind of cool that everyone has the same type of mindset in uh, in mind and that it's not just me telling you guys that it's you know other people saying it as well but uh, I think that's it so I'm gonna wrap up this video I wanted it to be short and sweet just to give you guys a couple of demos of the actual projector in action and then I'm gonna do another farewell video tour probably do two more videos with this projector in, installed and I'll do a farewell video tour and then um, probably one more that you guys um, don't know about yet. But again, the full roll on review is coming at the new space. Um, I, there's, there's a couple different things that I wanna add to it. Um, you guys maybe comment down below to figure out um, your predictions and then maybe I'll go ahead and give something away if you guys are right or not. But really appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. If you guys want links to any of this stuff, we're gonna go ahead and leave it down in the description so you guys can scoop one of these things up. If this one's out of your price range, which it probably is for, for most people, um, there's plenty of other projectors that I can recommend and just go ahead and reach out. I'll, I'll be happy to help you out with that as well. But appreciate you guys for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Catch you on the next one.